This is southern fried chicken goodness. You know what? No, I mean greatness. Just look at how juicy it is. And you can make this too right at home. In part one, I marinated it in seasoned buttermilk. And now that it's 24 hours later, you want to add a quarter cup of that marinade to the seasoned flour, mixing it in with your fingertips. Then you're going to want to get all of your chicken pieces extremely nice and well coated. Just take your time. Now you're going to want to add way too much oil to a 12 inch cast iron skillet. You know what? Don't do that. That's going to be a problem very soon. Go ahead and carefully heat your peanut oil to 380 degrees Fahrenheit. Then carefully lower in your bigger pieces of chicken skin side down. See, Here's where I realized I was gonna overflow if I added any more chicken, so I very carefully just removed some of that oil. Once you add your chicken, your temperature is gonna drop significantly, and that's fine. Just cook until both sides are golden brown and crispy, about three minutes per side. Then you're gonna wanna transfer them to a wire rack line baking sheet straight into a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven. Meanwhile, get your smaller pieces crispy on both sides as well. The wings are usually so small that by the time I toss them into the oven to finish cooking, they're almost completely done. Speaking of almost done, you wanna cook all of your chicken until it reads 160 degrees Fahrenheit in the thickest part. Take it out, drain it on paper towels, and let it cool for five minutes before digging in now. 